Hello as you've heard, welcome back to Splatoon 3. Today, we are taking a look at another weapon. This time around, it is a classic one. Of course, lots of people know this one, uh, but we'll be going to Sheldon Shop so that we can show it off. Uh, hi Sheldon, we are showcasing the Splatter Shot, which we'll compare to the Hero Shot Pro in just a moment, but for right now, if we take a little bit, look a bit more info. I don't know if Sheldon will describe it to me like he would when it was you know, first showing in the shop, but uh, if I click it, uh, get this one, exchange. There we go, we can exchange and equip it. Thank you, I know you'll give it a good home. Remember, you can equip new weapons in the equip menu. I wish that he would tell us more about them because he'll show them to us when, we, when it first enters the shop, but that's usually not when I'm ready to showcase it. So, uh, I guess we'll just look at the info here. Of course, the splatter shot comes with the suction bomb and the trizuka, so it is very comparable to the hero shot replica. If not just the same weapon, I guess we'll see. So yeah, we, if you want more details on these, you can see them here. Um, let's take a look at it though. So if we back out a little bit, is there any difference between this and the hero shot replica? If there's not, we'll mix some things up today. I still have some plans, but let's go to our gear and take a look for ourselves. So uh, go to the info and you can see it is more or less, yeah, it is the same exact weapon, even the same amount of points for a special. So if you aren't in the mood to complete story mode for the hero shot replica, just use the splatter shot. It is one of the most well-known weapons in Splatoon and it looks like a little water gun. I think it's a really cool one. Um, on top of that, Ooh, freshest fits, what is this? Not registered. You can save your current weapons gear and even your settings as a like, freshest fit. That way when you load up later, uh, they'll all be ready to go. I think I'm good for right now. We're gonna keep with that and I'm going to sort of switch up my gear. I would like something that maybe looks a little bit cooler. Um, we just unlocked the Bream Brim cap in the last episode when playing Salmon Run and it looks amazing, super duper uh, shiny and stuff. I don't know if we'll do showcase videos on these. If you guys wanna see showcase videos on them, let me know, but I think for right now, so I haven't showed it yet. Let's show off the teddy band that we unlocked in the bonus episode of the story mode. When it comes to the shirt, I wanna work on something. The Splatfest tee, oh, we can get some extra levels on this while we're working up to the Splatfest. That'd be a great idea. And then for the shoes, what would match the best? I'm sort of liking this vibe right here. So we'll do that color combo and I think we're about good. So obviously since we more or less showcased this weapon with the hero shot replica, it's the same exact weapon just with a different skin. Um, I don't wanna play turf four again, that'd be a little bit boring. So what we're going to do is try out the anarchy battles, which as far as I can tell replaces ranked mode in Splatoon 3. Beyond that, I'm not entirely sure how it works, but maybe the game will show, show us the ropes as we hop in. Let's find out together. So we have our Anarchy Battle series where we have to win five in Triumph, lose three and you're out, or the Anarchy Battle Open, which is just one extreme battle. And you can see with each one we have Tower Control or Clan Blitz. Um, I think I'll keep with Tower Control for now, as you can see the Anarchy Battle rules. I wanna see this. Anarchy Battle's new. Raise your rank by winning battles. In Anarchy Battles, you'll put your rank points on the line as you take on the most intense competition in the Splatlands. The more wins you rack up, the higher rank will soar. There are two styles of Anarchy Battle, Open and Series. If you're a solo player, Series is your chance to knuckle down for some serious splatting. First, you'll, play rank, or you'll pay rank points to cover for the entry fee. Then, you'll play matches until you earn either five wins or three losses. Don't worry, you can take breaks between matches. Once it's over, you'll earn rank points based on your wins and any medals you've earned. If you like to squad up with friends, or if you're a solo player that only has time for a single match, Open is for you. Here you'll gain, or lose, rank points after every battle. Both Theory Series and Open also give you the choice to stay with your team once a battle ends. Anarchy battles come in four flavors, Splat Zones, Tower Control, Rainmaker, and Clan Blitz. Your rank points are shared between all four. Build your rank up in one, and your rank goes up across the board. Want to be promoted to a new rank? Once you have enough rank points, you can take on a special challenge, the Rank Up Battle. Pay your rank points and get ready to fight. Earn three wins and you'll earn a rank promotion. But get three losses and you're out. You'll also need to get to earn more rank points to try again, ouch. So yeah, this is replacing rank mode for sure. And I think it's tower control at the moment. So we might as well read up on that just a little bit. Um, tower control the rules, whichever team rides the tower to the goal in the enemy base wins. So as you can see, we need to ride this. It's sort of like a payload type game mode if you've played other multiplayer uh, shooting games like this. We're gonna try that in the Anarchy Battle series and see how we fare. Um, I need to spend 55 points to enter the Anarchy Battle series. We only have 100 at the moment, so hopefully we can keep up with the competition and make some of those points back or we won't be able to enter again and I don't know what happens then. Are we just stuck out of rank forever? Who knows, I guess we'll see soon enough. But yeah, Anarchy Battles, let's see how it goes. 
So here we are at the Hagglefish Market for our first round of tower control in Splatoon 3. Hopefully it turns out well. I hope I'm not too rusty for this, but I just played two episodes worth. This is my third episode of the day that I'm recording, so hopefully things go well. I need to get the Turf War mindset out of the way though. It's not about covering turf necessarily. It's about getting out there and beating up some opponents. But since we're pretty used to, oh no, that, okay. Um, well, that was a little embarrassing. Uh, they just got me with a direct shot. How am I supposed to deal with that? The Luna Blaster is a rough one. Um, they took the tower, but basically our goal is to get on top of that tower and ride it to the finish line, which can be quite difficult because as you can see their finish line, oh my gosh, whoa, I got you. All right, um, that a checkpoint. So yeah, they're, oh no. Oh, they don't see me over here. They don't see me, gotcha, that was good. So I need to get rid of them. How do I, uh, whoa, whoa, gotcha. Oh, but I wasn't able to get the other person. That's rough. But the closer or the farther they ride it to the checkpoint, the closer they are to our spawn. So that's how it could be more easy to stop them. But for right now, I'm just gonna throw that as far as I can manage. Oh my goodness. So things are pretty intense at the moment, but I do have the Trizuka and I wanna try to, wait, is that person on my team? I don't think so. Oh no. Oh, they got greater range than I do with the, the Tetra Duelies or something? The Jet Sculpture. I just got the name except. Um, this is not so good so far because they are in the lead, but I remember this one being one where you can turn around quite easily. Oh, come on. Got you with that splat. We need to take this tower, or we can just try to make sure whatever teammates have it, stay protected if we don't want to ride on the tower itself. Uh, I was able to spot a couple of people, but obviously hard to keep it. They've reached some checkpoints, and what's the problem with that is that if we run out of time here, uh, Whoever has the highest amount of points with the checkpoints wins. So they don't need to reach the very end. Okay, where'd you go, where'd you go? You're right over here. Come on, ah, oh, I got spotted there, but I did get rid of them. So maybe a little bit, bit of a balance. They took the tower again. So I'm gonna try to jump over to them as soon as possible. Ooh, this is where things get quite intense. It also doesn't help, oh no. Um, that I just haven't played this map very much. Oh, they are chasing me down at the moment and I don't like it. Okay, so what if I were to be a bit sneaky here and go behind? There we go. We can rethink how we're accessing the map here. There we go, and take the tower back, all ours. All right, there's two people here. You're gonna jump off, maybe? Oh no, somebody's chasing us, and I don't like it. Whoa, uh, I'm gonna hop off for a moment to maybe save myself. Okay, because our teammate is on top of it at the moment. As long as one person is on it, we're fine which so far there is, we're at checkpoint one. This could be our big turnaround moment. If we pull this up, come on. Oh, I think I got him with that, hard to tell. Somebody got them, and that's just all that matters. We're getting to another checkpoint right over there. That's not really what I wanted. Nobody is over this way, but they don't see me, or do they? Uh, I got you, I got you. Oh, they saw me. Okay, that's fine, because I got somebody out of it, and we are turning this around at the moment. We just need to reach the final bit of it but they took it back. See, so yeah, you can see our remaining is 21. Theirs is, oh gosh, uh, 36. So if we could just somehow stop them. They know where I am. Oh, I, I got them though. No, that was good, that was good. How do I get up there? Because they are all splatted all over the place. There we go, good stuff. Come on, take it back, take it back. Guys, we gotta take it back. We took the tower. Oh no. This is so stressful. So much energy expended here for this. And they got me really good with that. Darn. Oh, they almost got hit with that if I threw it a little bit closer. We're doing really well. We just gotta keep playing defense at this point. If we can defend, oh no. For another minute, we'll be fine. Oh, that is not the tower. I thought that was. Because if nobody is on it, it makes its way back to the center with one minute remaining. Come on, what can we do? Uh, not that, not that. Oh, that was the Booyah Bomb. I forgot about that. That's right, I need to say Booyah to help my team out. One more. I didn't, quite, I didn't get anybody with that, but. I'm gonna try to do that a little bit. Get up here or something, I need to backtrack because they're on top of me. Oh no, they see me, ah! Trying to be careful, that's not careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I don't know where they are at the moment. Here they are. Uh, come on. Oh, that's so confusing, but I splatted one of them. 22 seconds remaining. The problem is this is one that can go into overtime if we're not careful. So send out some more booyahs and just try to help our team out. 
because as it currently stands, we pushed it even farther. Our remaining is six, and we took the tower. If we have the tower when it reaches zero, we win. If not, it'll go into overtime. So I think this toss is all over the place. Try to be careful, and there we go! We won our first game of tower control and our first anarchy battle. What a start to today's episode. That was so exciting. Boom, 94 to 64. Okay, so great job to everybody. We got the number one enemy splatter, as well as the tower stopper silver, and the one other. So there we go, maybe we can keep up with these guys in ranked. Guess we'll see in a moment. Um, we also got number one ground travel for, I guess, it says number one, but it's not number one because it's silver, I'm not really sure. But whoa, we get a ton of extra cash there, as well as um, a level up for our catalog. So also some extra abilities for our gears, the Teddy Band, the Splatfest seat, and the orange dad foot sandals, looking really good. All right then, so let's stick with this team so we can keep giving everybody some bonus experience with our ticket and hopefully that turns out well. But yeah, I got 15 splats. That was the most on our team, but it looks like somebody on their team might have disconnected, because you can see on the very bottom they have sort of dashes. I don't think that means they didn't get any, I think that means, but also somebody on our team. So maybe we both had disconnects? I'm not really sure what happened. Uh, or maybe that is zero. I, I really have no clue. Either way, it doesn't matter too much. We were still able to get the win, and we can move on to the next one. Round two of tower control. Now we are at Mince Meat Metalworks. Oh boy, we are on the green team. Oh, I'm a little nervous for this one. Is this a new map? It might be. Okay, so obviously we're still checking out the splatter shot here, so I do wanna hear what are your thoughts on the classic splatter shot? Do you think it's a good weapon here in Splatoon 3? Even worth grabbing for your tickets, or do you think maybe it's not so great? I'd love to hear all about it. I'm sure your opinion on it will be pretty similar to the hero shot replica, because of course it is the same weapon. Um, but so far, I'm getting a little distracted trying to play it like it's turf war. Can't do that. Gonna toss it over. And then I'm just trying to be careful for the time being because it's better to be sneaky, get rid of some opponents, and instead just embarrassingly get splatted by that person. Never mind, that was my bad. But we had a rough start last time and we turned it around for the win. So it's not worth stressing about if we could just keep going. Because there's only a couple points that they have so far. It might be a total washout. We'll never know until we try. But. I'm certainly gonna try. And so far, like I said, not turning out so well, but they've only gotten a few points. That is an easy thing to change. Okay, they're at checkpoint one. This is ringing very similar to last time. That is not gonna go as far as I thought it would. Uh, all right, here we go, here we go. The range is, ah, oh man, if my aim was a little bit better there, I could have gotten that person too, but we got one splat, and they lost the tower, so he's gonna head back to the center. They got it down to 61. But it just takes one well-coordinated um, attempt for everybody to start doing really well. Okay, we're gonna do that. I did see this person right over that way, but they hit the shield and there was a lot more people there than I expected. We just got wiped out. Oh no. Okay, so how do I wanna approach this? Cause right now this isn't working out so well. Uh, maybe we can go to the side here. I wanna be really careful, but if I can toss that over and then go for you, what is happening to my aim right now? That was awful, they got both of us. Oh my gosh, maybe they're just really good, because that's another wipeout. So, so far, our team isn't working out so good. Um, they're at checkpoint two, and here comes a crab, which I'm not a big fan of that. So, yeah, let's get rid of you. And then this one person with the bucket, I'm trying so hard just to fire straight at them, and it's just not going my way. So this is getting really scary. The good thing is that we still have plenty of time, so as long as we can just turn this around on them. Right now it's proving tough. It feels like everybody has better range and better everything than me right now. Okay, gonna jump over all that stuff. Just try to sneak up behind them. Come on, I got you, I got you. So come on, this is my chance. Why can't I jump? Come on. There's no way. I definitely started firing at them first. Come on. We just need to take that tower back and bring it all the way over, which, to be clear, is not gonna be easy, but maybe I could do something like that. I see you two over here, so there's one. Um, and I thought there was another, maybe there isn't. Oh no, so we took the tower, which will make it come back at extra speed, but I need to focus on you, I just can't. This player is too good for me, apparently. Um, I need to jump over to somebody, but there's not many options at the moment, so maybe this is a bad idea. We're gonna find out in just a second. Uh-oh, okay, just gonna do that. The tower is ours for the time being. 
Oh, you see me. But can I get you? I can't. I don't know what's going on this round, but I just can't make my shots. Maybe the splatter shot is showing its weakness here. Maybe it's me. Because I think that every weapon, of course, has its its perks. Oh, I couldn't quite land that up. I could have, would have been really good. I just can't throw that thing, apparently. That's clearly not what I wanted. Okay, I got one of them, but the other person is still there. This is so difficult. We're taking the tower again, but we need to catch up so much. We basically just need to ride it to the end. Okay, come on. And I missed it again. I'm really bummed out that I can't land that, apparently. Uh, Come on. Oh my gosh, yeah. You know, not my round. It happens. I don't think I am vibing with this map too much either, but hopefully if we get it again, I can get a better shot at it. But one win, one loss here in Anarchy Battles. We get totally knocked out of that one. Not what we like to see, but hey, it's fine. You can't win them all, especially in a ranked game, but we're still, the game's probably still trying to figure out where exactly we land in ranked. Our team just couldn't make it happen. It's fine. So let's see what points. We still got really good stats for our team. See, there's one victory and one loss. The problem is I need to win more than I lose if I want to continue. Um, but I wanted to pause this series, sort of take a look. Yeah, I feel like we did pretty well on our team, but they did so much better. So I feel like that was just maybe a mismatch in terms of who's who's skillful enough to keep up with that. We're gonna try again right over here um, and just continue it. I wanna see if we maybe match up with other people if we do that, or if it'll just be the same group. I'm not really sure. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, so here we are in tower control again. Third round, can we get this one to be a win? If not, we're gonna be really on the ropes. Let's get out there and figure it out. This time we, of course, are back at Mincemeat Metalworks, so we have a lot to do here. And yeah, let's, let's throw some booyahs out. Team morale is everything in ranked, right? So I'm just trying my best to toss something like that out there. Um, and there you are. Come on, I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you. That was good, that was good. So I think at this point, oh no, they know, they know. Oh, okay, I thought I was being sneaky. I was not being sneaky. All right, good to know. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Um, but we're at checkpoint one, so while I was distracting them, the rest of the team able to get something done. Maybe that was a good move? An, an accident? But a good accident? That didn't get them, darn. Um, come on, I got them a little bit there, but then I don't know where they went. How? I don't understand, I wasn't even facing that way. Or they weren't even, I, I'm a little confused by that splat, but it is what it is. So far, we are winning by two points, but they're taking the tower back. I'm gonna toss that way over. They're jumping over to me, so here's my chance, maybe. Oh my gosh, how are they all so good with those ranged blasters? I don't know, it's just that they hit me dead on. This is where it does get intense. We're, we're playing against people who really know what they're doing, um, and I'm just not one of those people. <laughs> this is really back and forth at the moment, though. I'm gonna charge this up and then maybe just toss another. We're at checkpoint one. We need our teammates out there, Pronto. I almost, here we go. Toss him in that over. I got maybe somebody. I don't know who got that. But hey, um, can I take this? I can't. I don't think there's really a way for me to get up there more easily. Oh no. Come on. They don't see me over here, right? Um, okay, I got one of them. Somebody took me out from below, but it was a trade. Oh, maybe they were just behind me. This is ridiculous so far. We are winning, but only by two points. So a very, very small margin. It's really anybody's game so far. And I got you, I got you. I finally beat out a roller player. Um, gonna toss it over. It didn't work. That's okay. Come on, I can't do that there. So we just need to go up. Yeah, this part's the most difficult. Because getting to this side of the map just proves to be very challenging. How? I mean, I'm jumping up on it, or at least like, it looks like it's hitting them, you know? I don't know, very confusing, but I think it's one of those things that you sort of learn how the game works the more you play it, because there's some things that feel like they would work, but then you try them and they just blow up in your face and you feel very embarrassed. I got you though, that's good. I think now is my time to skedaddle, because they're past checkpoint one, and we need to yeah, sneak up on them over there. Gonna toss that over, uh-oh. Uh, no, 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 they had my idea. Let's try this thing out, wherever I can. That didn't get anybody, I don't think. Sometimes it's hard to tell, I'm so focused on the action. Okay, I just wanna get over here, possible. Oh, come on, can I please make that jump? I splatted you, though, as soon as you popped up. 
I don't know how else, oh, I can get up there this way. How did I not notice this before? We've taken the lead. You know what? They won't see me, they won't see me, right? Uh, they might have seen me. I would have been fine if I could have just aimed. And I always panic and tense up too much and the motion controls get all jittery. It's tough when you have hooves, okay? Motion controls aren't really my best thing, but I know that I do better with them than if I were just to go without, if that makes any sense. I think it's better to learn them. Okay, uh, I didn't even see them, but I think it's better to learn them than it is to fight against it and just use the analog stick, because I just don't feel like that's as accurate as I typically need. But maybe I'm wrong. I'd love to hear your opinion on that. Okay, come on. Let's try to get you. I just, whew, sometimes I feel like I'm shooting at them and the game totally disagrees. It says I, I'm totally missing every single shot. One minute left. Who is winning this one right now? So far it's us. And I gotta do everything in my power to keep it that way. We are in the lead. I just need to get you. Toss that over, but oh my gosh, you're kidding me. It's every chance I get to get out there. I get knocked back. Okay, we're trying again. Gonna launch over here. Because if we could just play defense for the next 36 seconds. And counting. Gotcha! That was good. Um promise they're about to get me, maybe. Oh, no, it, uh, that actually got them. Whoa, cool. I know that they're probably right behind me, but I can get you, maybe, and your friend. There we go, the huge splats at the last final seconds. Can we keep that up? I need to back up a little bit or something, make some distance, and then start firing the trizuka. That didn't really do very much, now did it. With five seconds remaining, all we gotta do is hold it. All we gotta do is hold it, there we go, we're at checkpoint two. They took the tower, uh-oh. Gonna try this sneaky move again, I think. Never mind, we don't even need to. So we didn't win the second one, but the third one comes back into our favor. That is fantastic. Look at that, 55 to 32. Really good stuff. And we got number one turf inker and number one super jump spot. I like to see those. So, oh man. A tough round for sure, but we made it turn out just like really in our favor, like I said. I like it. We are going to uh, check out our score here. Our second victory. We need to win three more times. Can we make that happen? I sure hope so. Uh, but yeah, let's stick with this team because we did great getting some extra experience through my uh, ticket that I activated a few episodes ago. Let's make it work. So two of them are staying. Oh no, never mind. They left. <laughs> it's all up to me. So we're back at Hagglefish Market where we won before. Can we win again? I sure hope so. Oh, they look like they have some interesting weapons on their side though. You know what, so far I'm pretty happy with the splatter shot. It's not the best weapon ever, I don't think, but it is a well-balanced weapon to sort of get used to everything. So I'm just trying to approach from the side for now and see who I can sneak up on because there's gotta be a few people, right? Um, Come on, I see you over there, there's one, and then, oh, you're waiting for me, you're waiting for me, I got you. Okay, so there's two splats down. I mean, that's not too bad, right? That hopefully gives the rest of our team space to grab the tower, and it did for a moment. Obviously, no checkpoints too much so far, but we're earning up points. Come on, they took the tower. So how the checkpoints work, as far as I understand, is that if nobody activates the tower, um, it moves backwards to the center point again, right? But if we activate a checkpoint, it won't go any farther back than that. There we go. They activated their little can sprayer thing. That's, that's a new one. Ow. <laughs> so that's gonna give them buffs. I don't know if there's a way to destroy that. But that's why the checkpoints are super important and neither of us have gotten one yet. But it basically secures an easier spot for, oh my gosh, what was that? Uh, ooh, not good, not good. Time to make some distance. I did not realize it was gonna move right towards me. I moved to the worst space possible then. That's okay, because the rest of our team is coming in. I feel like I had a great start to this, but now things are turning a little rough. They're past checkpoint once. Yes, they do have the lead for the time being. And that's where the stress comes in, because we can't do a typical win one, lose one strategy. Because if that happens, we'll get knocked out before we succeed which is typically how my ranked excursions would go in other Splatoon games, is I'd win one, I'd be like, yes, and then I'd lose one, and then I'd win one, and then I'd lose one. So I never really felt like I was getting anywhere, and now you really can't get away with that. Okay, they're, they're shooting at me there. We're past checkpoint one now, though, so things are sort of working out 
there's somebody, no, there's not, there's a sprinkler over there. We're past checkpoint one. I'm gonna back up a little bit and just try to shoot at anybody who's gonna threaten with a booyah bomb. Is there too? I didn't hit anybody with it. Whoa, wait a minute, I didn't even see you guys. Time to run. Okay, oh, and I got somebody with my uh, splat bomb. I feel like we've been doing really well with that in today's episode, at least compared to normal. Uh, Come on, you don't see me at the moment. Um, yes, you do. <laughs> they got wiped out though. That means our whole team was down there. Come on, we gotta get past this checkpoint. Okay, there we go. I'm going to jump up, try to take an interesting route here, splat that person first, and then try the Trizuka. Oh, I got him, I got him. All right, that was good, that was good. Uh, so some good stuff there. Where's our tower at? It's right over there. Uh, they got them. Oh no, oh no, from where? Up there? Oh, I got splatted. I just couldn't tell where they were coming in at. How, who is winning right now? We are winning. I keep on thinking we're the green team. I think we've been just playing a lot of green recently. And sorry if I get a little too hyped up during this. It's intense action and it takes like 100% of my energy. What did you think you were doing, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna try to jump around. My sneakiness didn't pay off that time. Okay, I might be able to just jump over to a player, but we gotta be really careful with this one. There we go, come on. Let's see how this works out for us. I'm gonna quickly just go over there. Oh no, see this where things can get risky if we're not careful. Oh, somebody to splat over this way, gotcha. Come on, come on. Oh no, I splatted another person, but they are still in that tower. And that's gonna, oh, if they get past that checkpoint, we'll be in so much trouble. Cause yeah, they are now surpassing us in points with only a minute 18 remaining. That is not good. They're past checkpoint two. We take that tower back, but we have a long way to push through. I'm gonna toss it over there. Not really anybody to catch it. Oh no, I can't believe they saw me there. I don't know if they did or if that was just really unfortunate timing that ended up working out in my favor, but gotcha. Just gonna wait for a second. Sometimes it's good to be quiet. Ooh. Cause they're coming over and our tower is still moving. So I gotta move with it. Um, Trying to get you, gotcha. And then somebody else is gonna fall right here and I can get them too. But don't forget their friend over this way where they go. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. How did I do that? I have no clue. Um, but we're against the clock here in a way. Um, I need to not make that mistake. Come on, come on. Oh, I almost got you. Just need my aim to be a little bit tighter. Cause right now they are still 10 points ahead of us. We need to break through that checkpoint. So I need to jump over really fast. Oh man. Oh no, oh no, go, come on. Oh, I had a moment there to not make that happen. Oh, this is where things can be bad. Where things could be really bad. Our whole team is wiped out with five seconds remaining. I don't think we'll be able to do it. Come on. Ah. Oh. That's rough. That is really rough because we're falling into what I just said about the win one, lose one. We can't let that happen or it's just nothing's gonna work out, which is really it's stinky that, you know, we matched up with people who won and I wanted to play another one with them. <laughs> they didn't want to play another one with me. That's okay. Uh, so yeah, we lost another. And while I'm happy with the wins we've had so far, it's just not enough for me to make my points back. And that's where the stress comes in. Uh, but look at this overall splatter, super jump spot. We got a lot of good accolades there, but it's just, it's not enough. We need to win three in a row. We wanna make this happen. Um, so I could stick with this team or we could try another one. Um, you know what? I'll stick with the team. We'll, we'll just see how it works. I don't really know if it's gonna pan out for us. We got 20 spots. That was the top in the entire lobby. I definitely think we did good there, you know? It just wasn't quite enough to win. So back to Mincemeat Meat Metalworks. I don't think we've won here yet, right? No, we've won once. We've had to win once here. So this is sort of the do or die situation, right? We need to get out there and win this one or we are out of Anarchy Battle here. So I don't want that to happen. And I don't know how to earn up more points so that we can try again in a future episode. So a lot of weird things we'll be figuring out in today's video. Okay, I'm gonna toss it over, but that auto bomb found me. So I'm just trying to run for the time being, and then maybe I could sneak up on you. Oh, my aim was so bad there. I sort of deserved to get splatted, because I was just, I wasn't even pointing it at him. But you know what, it's easy to get upset about what I did in the past. We gotta focus on learning from it and applying it to the future. So just gonna toss that over, I took the tower. And I'm not really too concerned, oh, that is not splattable. That feels weird, I don't understand. 
The other surface looked exactly the same, and I, I, I could ink that one, but not this one. All right, uh, whatever. We're learning, we're learning. There, checkpoint one. And this is a lot like Turf War in the way that as long as we can stop them, I mean, they're, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? They're just flat out outplaying me right now. But similar in the way that it really is just the last moments that matter unless they get the full knockout, then that would be a problem. But I got my first splat finally. And I wasn't able to get them. Somebody got me, but I splatted two people before I got taken down, you know, so it's something. So we're really what we're looking for is the problem is they can hide behind the pillar. They are really getting close to the end here. I need to, come on, I got one of them right there. And the other one too, this is our chance to take the tower back. Come on guys, no, 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 get off of this, get off of it. There you go. No way, they won with that, you're kidding me. Oh, that is the worst. That was the worst one yet. I was trying so hard, but ah. I don't know, I feel like we either do really well and it's a close game and we end up winning, or it's just a total one-sided wipe and they win. So I don't know what's up with that. I guess we win one and they try to boost us up against more difficult players and then I get destroyed again. So maybe the more we play, the more game will, the game will figure out what our ranking is and help us climb from that. Cause right now it's just, it's a little weird. It's a little weird. Either way. Oh, so we get points for a performance regardless. That's good. So even though I, hmm, I understand now. I spent 55 points to get into this, but I earned up more points. So I'm actually at a higher score now than I was before. Not too bad. So we're at B minus right now. It'll take us a lot more work to get any higher than that. But let's see what's happening now. I think maybe there's new modes or something. Not really. Okay, so let's see what Jed has to say. Maybe some tips for us. Uh, you've been to the shop in the lobby yet? The food and drinks sold there can boost the experience in cash you can earn from battle. Although you'll need tickets to buy the goods. So round up some up before stopping by which we have been, I've been still using up the one ticket I use. They last a good while, but this is gonna cost 30,000. I don't think it's worth that much. We do have a second ticket or a second con show. I don't know how I've been earning these up. If they just happen randomly. I'm not really sure if anyone wants to let me know. I'd appreciate it. Uh, but I think we'll head back to the normal shops and we'll see if there's anything else we wanna scoop up. We turned, we earned a lot of coins during Salmon Run last episode. So I definitely wanna make the most of that and spend them. I've just been having so much fun with the game. No matter what we're doing, what we're showcasing, or just having fun with Salmon or Splatoon 3. I get all my words picked up. Splatoon 3 has been a blast so far. So let's check out some of the other shops. I haven't like physically walked to any of them, but it's a pretty simple experience. You just walk in. Uh, yeah, let's see what we got going on. Okay, so. Here are the shirts and stuff. I might want to get to the headwear first. Yeah, of course. I'm recording this in the same episode, or same day as the previous episode, so they're still the same gear. But I can buy some of it, like the cycling cap, no problem. I might not equip it all right now, but I just sort of want some of each. The tennis headband. Oh wait, yep, that's good. And then we also have the Anaki charms, and these look pretty cool, right? Cool glasses. Let's buy those. And then lastly, over here we have the home team capture. So I just wanted to clear out some of the shots with all the extra cash we have floating around at the moment. Some extra shirts too, like the Chaco layered LS, like the fit. And then over here we have the Aloha shirt, pretty relaxed. And I like this one, the black 8-bit fish fry, just because, you know, 8-bit stuff, old games, my favorite. Uh, Octo Squid Tandem Tee, this one's a little weird to me, but it's just two halves of a shirt sort of stitched together. And then finally the Pineapple Ringer. So there we go, we're clearing out all these shops, and we still have plenty of cash left. So let's check out the shoes. We have the red three straps, which I might equip now. Yeah, looking pretty good. Uh, the orange arrows, nice. The uh, pink trainers, some of these are pretty affordable too. The pink dad foot sandals, I think it's called dad foot because it's socks and sandals. Then we got the blob mob flip flops. So there we go, we bought out all the shops, I'm pretty sure, except for this one, which these are a little bit more pricey. Oh, our catalog level went up, so here's our reward. We'll get ourselves a, uh, whatever that was. I don't know what that was. <laughs> um, I guess a sticker or something. Um, I wanna make sure we own as many things as we can, but some of them are just ridiculously expensive. But one of each just sounds like a pretty good idea for the most part, like the Squid Force mug. I'll buy whatever is reasonably priced for right now, so we'll do that. Um, we got a 
FRGLX2 sticker. Oh, fragile. There we go. And then maybe this one, the uh, the drink, the I don't know what that says. D R N K P N Y L. Drink panol? I don't know. Uh, poster. Let's try that one. So there, there's a good chunk of our cash spent, but I think well worth it. We'll have plenty more gear that we can try out in upcoming episodes. But for right now though, definitely let me know your thoughts on the splatter shot. I feel like we did a pretty good job at showcasing in today's episode, um, the strengths and the weaknesses of it, but I can't wait to see some more weapons. You can see right now our freshness is at 595, or 5,950. 5, um, it's a little bit higher for the splatter shot pro. We did a little bit better for that, or the, uh, not the pro, the hero shot replica. I don't know why I'm getting the things mixed up, but you know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool stuff. We'll be checking out more weapons soon, but for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Splatoon 3. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.